Hey guys, it's Ian Kay and Carol Juju for Peep This Out Reviews, back again with another one for you. Descending upon the Arboretum yet again, guys, for the 2017 edition of Taste of Arcadia and what promises to be an awesome food festival of epic proportions. There are over 40 plus vendors here showcasing various restaurants and cafes along with a lot of other cool entertainment, and we're definitely looking forward to having a great time here. So come with us and let's peep this out. Tacos, Mexican restaurant. What are we serving today? We're serving carne asada tacos. Oh. And we have some hot green salsa, cow salsa, onion, cilantro, lime. You cannot go wrong with carne asada tacos with all the fixings. All right, enjoy. Looks fantastic. All right, City Cafe. What do we have on tap today? Uh, we have our homemade potato chips with caramelized onion dip Oof. and uh, our prime rib flatbread with uh, caramelized onions. Balsamic production. Nice. Wow, the Courtyard Marriott in effect in the Taste of Arcadia 2017 with a very colorful table here. Guys, what are we serving? We are serving a fantastic Southwest Cobb salad. Wow, and nice. With chicken and a fresh baked lemon bar with a strawberry compost. Beautiful presentation, guys. Beautiful. The Four Seasons Tea Room presenting a Taste of Arcadia 2017. Guys, what do we have on tap here? We have chicken salad, roasted bell pepper, Sandwiches, and we have our cucumbers and tomato base. Nice. We have our salad, which is made with uh, roasted vinegar. And Beautiful. We make our own salad dressing. Very nice. Definitely fits the tea room motif to a T, <laughs> if I may say so. Very nice. Del Frisco's grill is popping off in the taste of Arcadia. Nice. What do we have here? Ahi tuna tacos. Hmm. A wonton shell, guac, fresh ahi tuna, and a spicy mayo. Super fresh and packed, I might add. Very packed. Yeah. Beautiful, guys. Very, very nice. Thank you so much. We're getting it in early. Looking beautiful. All right, so we got to go for the ahi tuna taco over here. As always, a very fresh amount of ahi tuna. Looks like a little bit of like a chipotle type mayo on the top there. And of course, some avo and a nice crispy tortilla shell. Kind of like a wonton, I guess. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Oh man, amazing. Fresh ahi tuna begins to melt in your mouth instantly. And then the crunchiness on the back end of that wonton-like shell, smooth creaminess of avocado, and a slight pop from that chipotle type of sauce on the top there as well too there. You know what, let's just kill this in one bite because this is ridiculously good. Mmm. Awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. Via Katrina Mexican Restaurant and Cantina making an appearance at the Taste of Arcadia 2017. What are we serving today? We have chicken mole. Ah. We have pork with nopales. And the handmade tortillas to go with. Beautiful. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> All right, the amazing nothing bun cakes. What are we serving here today? We have marble cake here, and we'll have other flavors later tonight, so you gotta come around. Oh, I'll be back. This is already looking killer already. The premier bun cake maker in Pasadena, without a doubt, Lake Avenue right. is where to find him. Great to see you again. Mount Love Brewing Company in the house serving up the good stuff. Very nice. The legendary Clearman's Galley, always a local favorite, serving up that cabbage salad as only they can. Very, very delicious, guys. Thanks so much for being here. This looks fantastic. Clearman's Northwoods Inn, right across the way from the galley, serving up the good stuff here as well. Look at this. Carnivore, anybody? Look at that. Looking fantastic, guys. Looking fantastic. Looks like it's marinated beautifully as always, too. Look at that. A little sample plate of Mount Low goodness, along with the galley in Northwoods Inn. And a little complimentary side of peanuts to go with, too. Methodist Hospital representing with one of the most colorful tables yet. This looks fantastic. Tis the season for Halloween, too, let me tell you. Nice. Beautiful, guys. Looks absolutely fantastic here. It's never too early for wine, is it? Never. 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 Yes, what can I get for you? The world famous Benny Hanna popping off with some vegetable fried rice. Some of the good stuff here, along with 
Hello, California Rolls. How you doing? Very good. How you doing? Great, great, great. Great to have you guys here at the Taste of Arcadia 2017. Wild Peacock Crossing. They say life is too short, so have dessert early. Or have it first, I should say. Arcadia Gardens Retirement Home is popping off with some delicious looking desserts. Guys, what are we serving here? Nice. That presentation is killer with the with the wing right there, it really is. Homemade strawberry lemonade. Homemade lemonade to go, strawberry goodness. Very good. Very nice. Guys, thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Looks very, very tender. Indeed. A little bit of that mashed potato in there as well. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Dave and Buster's is spinning the treats. And there's even some really tasty looking treats to eat as well. You cannot go wrong with 38 degrees garlic fries with the aioli spread to go with, right? Oh, nice. Crispy golden. Got that sea salt look too with the skin on the side. Very sexy situation. <laughs> Thanks so much. Dickie's Barbecue Pit never disappoints. Guys, what are we serving today? I'm already honing in on the mac and cheese here, but what else do we have on tap? Oh, we got some pulled pork over here, some spicy cheddar sausage, some Polish sausage. Nice. Our number one side, the baked potato casserole. Baked potato. And some coleslaw over there. And you gotta have the classic coleslaw with it. Yes. And we got some ridiculously awesome looking brisket here. Yeah, we're gonna have to slice this up. All thick like, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> wow. Tender. I would say it's fall off the bone goodness, but there is no bone to be had, but look at that. Succulent, juicy, oh God, tenderized, good. marinated for how many days, I wonder? Oh, just one day, believe it or not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah everything's Beautiful. smoked daily. Nice, good stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah. And of course, we gotta light up a little barbecue sauce goodness to go with. Very nice. All right, some mashed potatoes, some mac and cheese goodness. We got some pulled pork and some Polish sausage right here. Let me start off with everybody's favorite, at least mine, a little macaroni and cheese action. Mmm. Rich and creamy, completely fills your mouth, very smooth. Nice, vibrant cheddar flavor on that, it's pretty awesome. Mmm. That's like a bacon mash, really smooth, rich and creamy as well. Same consistency as the mac and cheese, but nice smokiness on top of it. Let me combo that out real fast here, you know? It's all about the combos here tonight. Oh, man. Decadent combo indeed. All right, little pulled pork action with some of their original barbecue sauce. Nice and tender, nice and smoky looking. Definitely can smell it. Mmm. And I can taste it. Whoa. Mmm. It's amazing. Really good. All right. We're going down the line because this is a very, very delicious plate. Polish right over here. Let's do it. Mmm. Dickies doesn't disappoint. I am not disappointed. And I'm going back in one more time for this combo of the mac and cheese and that bacon mash right over there. Ridiculously decadent, but we're having a blast here at the Taste of Arcadia 2017. Mmm. Elysian Brewing, sampling the good stuff here. We got some Night Owl, the original pumpkin ale, and Space Dust IPA. NBC Suites, Arcadia, Peacock Grill. I'm hearing this is the hard hat section. What do we have on tap here? These look really cool. Oh, God. Nice. Matt Denny's Ale House. What are we serving today? We are serving, we have some pulled pork. Oh. We got some tri-tip. Tri oh, man, look at that action right there. We're all set, ready to rock and roll. Ready to go. We love the taste of Arcadia. <laughs> we love having you. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs> the legendary Derby popping off with that bread pudding action over here. What's that, the chocolate bread pudding? Oh, it's Jack Daniel's whiskey sauce. Jack Daniel's whiskey to go with. Oh man, look at the presentation on that. Look how moist and succulent and ridiculous. Oh, yes. Dessert first before dinner, right? Always. Always <laughs> Looks really fantastic. Guys, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah. That's right. Yeah. What are you No, I just set up. Oh, you set up. I was here from one to five. Oh, you were with God. Bella Sarah Trattoria. Meatballs, bacon wrap dates, shoot wrapped asparagus. And we've got some Boston cookies here on the side. Beautiful presentation, and that looks amazing already because it's got bacon. <laughs> Those meatballs, looks great. One Hope Wine, how you guys doing? Good, we're doing great. Oh, this looks like a fantastic display of goodness already here. And it's not too early for this at all. Not at all. Sparkling brew, we have it in the regular and our peach. And then we have a few cheese crackers with the cheese guys of Sierra Madre. Nice. And then we're also partnering these with our Pinot Noir and our Pinot Grigio. These support giving back to um, Forever Home for, for our pets and our and our sparkling brew to give back to all Spartan children. Awesome. Thank you. Guys, Welcome. thank you so much for being here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have the world famous double tree cookies. Got to. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Amazing, amazing. All right. How do you guys prepare the Jamaican jerk skewer? <laughs> we we'll marinate the chicken for two days and we serve it with the chimichurri sauce. So we crush up the mango and mix it with chimichurri, sour cream, and uh, a little bit of cayenne. Just give it a little kick. So it's smooth, creamy, with a little bit of pop. Beautiful. That's the way it has to be, right? <laughs> That's the only way. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Woo! Yes. <laughs> there we go. Blended healthy. It's blending up the color. Our ginger tonic and our tropical kale out the sample. Wow, this Come is all Rachel good for you. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Woo! Chicken, offering up the tasty goodness here. Wow, sweet garlic. Sweet garlic three, we've got some sweet garlic four, and soy. Pretty fantastic looking, looks like it's fried up nice and golden, crispy all around, and looking to deliver a lot of pop, a lot of flavor. Looks great guys, thank you. All right, so here we go with level one spiciness from the garlic chicken here at Hot and Sweet Chicken, and oh man. Nice situation right there. Look how sauced up that is. Ready to go. Here we go. Mmm. That is fried to perfection. It's juicy. Oh. Are you sure this is level one? Are you sure this is level one? It's a hot. This is a little hot. This is a little hot. Hold on. Hold on. That's a little hot. Let's try it. Mm. But I'm going back to get it again because that was really good. Jake's Roadhouse, always a favorite on Myrtle Avenue. Thank you, yes. Mainstay for generations right here. Some great stuff. Amazing looking barbecue. What are we serving? Baby back ribs and spicy Texas sausage. Nice. Beautiful. Guys, thanks so much for being here. The Diplomat. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. Right. Awesome stuff right over here. Some skewered chicken over here too there, seasoned up beautifully. Looks amazing. There's that classic rice to go with. And we're already lighting it up with some pork action ready to go here. But man, look at this. Mediterranean on point. Great stuff, guys. Thanks so much. Tui's in the house. Check this out. What are we serving here? Oh. That is a lot of goodness in that little cup right there. It looks super, super flavorful. Thanks so much for being here. An absolutely beautiful table of the Women's City Club of Pasadena. 
Wow, guys, beautiful looking situation we got going over here. What are we serving? We are serving our signature popover. Wow. Yeah, we decided to do a little play on it. Um, this time we're stuffing it with a Waldorf chicken salad and a wild mushroom stuffing. Wow. And then a little something sweet. Yes, please help yourself a strawberry shortcake. Beautiful. And we're also featuring for the first time our new signature uh, tea, which is uh, consists of a song of black tea, which is a champagne of black teas. And we have orange zest for California, a little rose for Pasadena, and a little cardamom uh, for the spiciness of our members. And honey because they're sweet too. So. Very fitting, very um, fitting. And we're also raffling off a table of 10 Ooh. at our next tea if you'd like to sign up there. Um, I do hope that you enjoy. Beautiful. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we got some seasoned chicken and some hummus and some rice pilaf from the diplomat. Let's give this a shot here. A really thick piece of white meat. Mmm. Look at that. Striation falling there. That is super fresh. Mmm. A little bit of that hummus action right here too. That is really good. It's really good. All right. A little rice with a tiny fork. Got a nice smooth buttery type of flavor. Texture's good. Hummus is definitely on point. That is really tasty, I gotta tell you. Mmm. Gotta love the atmosphere in the background over here too. This is the way to do it. The taste of Arcadia, 2017. All right. Let's go to Italy, shall we? Bella Sera Tutoria. This is amazing, amazing stuff here. I'm just gonna pick this up and go for a bite. Let's just do it real quick here. Mmm. That is seasoned up. Look at that. Amazing. Really, really good stuff there. Rich Italian seasoning. And I gotta say, the Parmesan crusting on the top there is pretty amazing too. Mmm. Oh, we got the derby bread pudding in effect. Time. And with that, 2017's edition of Taste of Arcadia is in the books, guys. We are definitely loaded up to the hill with really, really awesome food right now. Did you have a blast? Yes, I did. Oh, I'm God. Too. I am done. I'm definitely not eating until next year's edition, which we can't wait to come back for as well. Guys, with that, it's Ian K and Carol Juju closing out another episode of Peep This Out from the Arboretum here in Arcadia. And like I always say, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. Definitely a blast of an event, guys. I hope you enjoyed all the footage from the amazing event here at the Arboretum in Arcadia. It was an absolute blast. Let's see if we come back for 2018, shall we? We'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.